Okay, as part of showing you how to build your own PC, I'm going to start with a finished PC and go over what all the parts are just so you can get a better sense of what things should look like when you're finished. Okay, to start with, uh, this is obviously the case. Uh, that's where all your components are going to be housed. Uh, next, we've got the motherboard. Uh, that's this thing right here. Uh, it's this big box you see. That's where all of the different components hook into. Uh, this here is the cooler for the CPU. Uh, it's going to rest right underneath this um, on the bottom down here. That's like the brain of the computer. The motherboard's kind of like the central nervous system of the computer. Uh, these little sticks right here, you see these two red things? Those are the heat sinks on the RAM. That's the random access memory or that's the memory of the computer. Um, what you typically hear is 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes. That's where your components are loaded um, into by the operating system. Uh, these two cards you see right here, these are the video cards. Uh, normally a computer just has one video card, uh, but these two are linked together here uh, for kind of advanced video games, graphics, that sort of thing. Um, so normally you just have the one uh, right here. This here is your power supply. Uh, this provides power to all the different components. You can see here um, where it plugs in. Oops, where it plugs in. And it provides power to all the components. So you'll notice like here on the motherboard, this is the main uh, power to the motherboard. And you've got various power cables going to the different uh, components. Uh, this up here is the DVD burner. So you can see this here is the SATA memory transfer cable and then here's the power as it hooks in. Uh, down here we've got a normal hard drive. This is a platter hard drive. Uh, kind of like a very small record player. It's got platters of magnetic disks that store your information. Uh, this here is a solid state drive. That's a newer type of hard drive that stores information <clears throat> uh, without any moving parts. So it's much faster uh, than a normal kind of older style hard drive. And you can see the data connections for the various hard drive and DVD drives hook up here. Uh, these are the SATA cables that snap right into the motherboard. Uh, you'll also notice um, the various fans plugging into the motherboard, kind of like here. Uh, this is another power supply cord coming from the power supply to the motherboard here. Uh, you'll see here on the video cards, the power supply hooks into the video cards. Uh, you can kind of see here on the, on the solid state drive, the power coming in there. Uh, you'll also see the power coming into the hard drive back here. And so that just gives you an overall view of the computer once it's fully built. Uh, you can see the back here. I'll just go over this stuff really quick in case you're not familiar with it. Uh, USB ports here, uh, keyboard, mouse. Um, let's see, I'll go over the important ones. Uh, network cable, that's where you'll hook in your internet. Um, onboard sound card. Here's the video card here. You can see this is the primary video card where you'll hook up your monitor. Again, just a bunch of USB ports, a Firewire port, a digital audio out ports here, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, you'll also notice some fans in the front of the case. Uh, here, those will, let's see, where's this guy hooked up here? Can't see it right off. Uh, those will hook into ports kind of like, uh, or little pin connectors kind of right here is a fan connector. Here's more system fan connectors you see here. Your overall case will plug into the, um, the cables are kind of in this mess of cables here. They'll plug into the motherboard usually at the bottom and you can see these are all the different uh, cables that control the buttons from the front of the case uh, to the motherboard to cut on your computer and that sort of thing. All right, next we're going to jump into uh, a brand new case and motherboard and we'll start with assembling the uh, CPU and cooling fan. All right, as you can see, I've got my case here. I've got the motherboard and CPU kind of ready to go. The first thing we're going to do is get the motherboard out. 
Now you want to make sure you uh, ground yourself, so touch a sink or something like that just to dissipate any uh, static electricity. So now I'm going to get the motherboard out. This is kind of like the skeleton or the central nervous system of the computer. So I'm just going to kind of carefully open this up. Here. And uh, take it out. And again, you just want to be real careful with this as you're taking it out of the bag. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is install the CPU. Uh, that's kind of like the brain of the computer. So, first we're going to loosen this here. And let's see, what does this say? Install processor first, then remove and keep the cover. Okay. Let's see here. Here's the cover here. So now, if you notice here, there's a little white dot right here uh, by the CPU that signifies where the processor is going to go in so that you can align it properly. So now the CPU is going to come with a heat sink and a fan for you. And a automatically here. Let's see. Get this bad boy out and set it over here. Now, try to get this CPU out. <clears throat> All right. Now, if you can see here on the CPU, um, there's the little dot and the little triangle. All right, so you can see here, I'm gonna grab the CPU out, and it's actually the little triangle piece here uh, is going to point to the dot on the CPU, and it's got these little ridges right here to make sure you can't put it in incorrectly. So I've got my thing flipped up. I'm just going to very carefully uh, set this down into place. I'm gonna lower this lid down, and uh, put down my little retaining bracket thing here. There we go. Now it is now hooked into place. Okay, now the next step is to install the fan. And you can see it's pretty easy on the instruction book. Um, you wanna make sure you loosen this little cord up here. So let me get this out of here. Okay. Um, you're just going to put this down, and there's, there's already little pre-made holes. And you're going to put this in, then we can take the motherboard and install it into the case. Alright, you can see here we pop the fan uh, just into place. Um, all you do is really just push it in. And you can see these little um, white tabs here stick through the back and affix it uh, down tight to the CPU. So now... Uh, the next step is really to just take the fan and connect it to the motherboard uh, where the CPU fan goes. And you don't actually have to uh, screw it in. Um, I was incorrect. I'm used to kind of uh, overclocking and using, um, I guess, more elaborate type of fans that require all kinds of craziness to get them installed. But this one's pretty simple and straightforward. So that's good to go now. So now the next step is you can see here, uh, let me get the camera out of the tripod here. And um, you can see here, uh, there's several holes in the motherboard, like here, 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 um, here, 
and here, 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 here. We're gonna affix little brass standoffs that came with the case. You can see them here, these little silver, or these little uh, goldish looking things. We're gonna affix those into the proper holes in the case, like you see here, uh, to make sure the motherboard is standing off properly, and then we're gonna screw the whole thing in. So I'm gonna cut for a second to screw those in and then show you what it looks like before we put the motherboard in. Okay, so you can see I screwed in all the standoffs. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that corresponds to all these little holes you kind of see on the motherboard uh, with these little things around them. Kind of like that. And let's see, there's another one right there. There, there. So now I'm just going to insert the motherboard into the case, um, align it up with these, and then we're going to screw it in uh, with these sort of screws here. Um, but you see, and that's just going to hold it down to the case to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. All right, we've got our motherboard screwed down. Uh, you can see all the screws here. In place. Now the next step is you're going to hook up all of your your power switch, your hard drive, your re reset switch, all this stuff to the motherboard. So you can see here I'm going to unbundle this set of cables. Uh, they're going to plug in, uh, let's see, right here to the motherboard. And the way you can tell is you're going to have to consult your motherboard manual. It's going to tell you to use, uh, you can see here, JFP1 and it gives you kind of the layout. And so you're just going to find JFP1 on your motherboard. It might be called something else for yours. Uh, but you're basically going to follow the instructions in the manual to make sure you hook up all these crazy cords properly. Um, so that step is going to vary motherboard to motherboard. But you can see there's the USB hookups, uh, HD audio hookups, all that good stuff. Uh, USB, uh, another hookup. So uh, you're basically just going to make sure all of these uh, get installed properly per the uh, motherboard manual. I like to do this step first before you get everything else into your case, or if not, it's really hard to see and get everything uh, hooked up properly. Okay, we've routed all the case cables here, uh, back behind the case, coming up here, and they're plugged in properly per the motherboard manual. Uh, now we're going to install the RAM. Uh, that goes right here. I've got two sticks of RAM, so the motherboard manual tells me I want to install them in DIMM 2 and DIMM 4. Don't ask me why, that's just the way it is. It, it's um, dual channel memory, so we need to make sure we use DIMM 2 and DIMM 4. So here's the RAM I'm going to use here. Uh, you basically just take it out. We're going to flip these little things down here. Um, if you can see that. And you just push the RAM straight down and it clicks right into place. And I'm going to try and get a video of that. Okay, I've got the RAM here. Um, and I'm just going to push this straight down into DIMM number two uh, to start with here. And you can see it just clicked right into place. Now let me get my other RAM stick. And I'll demonstrate that one more time. And you can see here, uh, one side's a little shorter than the other. And um, so it kind of gives you a good indication of uh, how to orient it properly. There we go. Make sure your RAM's really well seated. Uh, that's a common problem. If you don't push it down all the way, uh, your computer is going to have problems starting up. Okay, the next step is to install the video card, and that's going to plug in right here. It's typically going to be your top uh, PCIe slot. So you can see it's going to plug right in here. I've already uh, removed the um, area here where the, the video display ports are going to stick through. All right, I've got the video card in here. Uh, this is kind of a hybrid model, so it's got a cooler. Um, I detached the fan here and then just screwed in the uh, 
cooler you can see here into the regular fan slots and um, again you just push it straight in and uh, you're good to go. So next I'm going to put in the DVD drive up here and um, I'm going to install the SSD drive and then just a normal hard drive and then from there I'll show you that and then we'll hook up all the power and SATA connections and then at the end I'll install the power supply. Okay you can see here I popped in the DVD drive. Um, this has got kind of this quick connect feature where you just stick this guy in and then uh, twist it down and now the DVD drive is nice and stable. It's in and you can see here um, didn't show up very well, but there's where you connect the SATA uh, data and then the power is right next to it. So now we're going to go ahead and throw in the SSD. Okay, I've installed the SSD into this uh, two and a half inch to three and a half inch uh, adapter that came with the case. Uh, you can see I just screwed it in there on the bottom. So now I can just uh, insert this little guy here and uh, good to go. There we go, it's nice and firm. So next, um, let's see if this works. I've got a, a normal um, three and a half inch hard drive from another computer. And um, nah, it didn't quite fit. So I'm gonna have to detach this and use the adapter that, use the adapters that came with this particular case. All right, as you can see, I just uh, use these little clips uh, kind of here to poke right into the side of the hard drive. And it's really easy just to poke those guys in and uh, just slip it right into this drive bay. And you can see it's uh, good and fixed in there. Okay, then the next step is we're gonna hook up the data SATA cables from each of the devices to the motherboard. Okay, the last thing left to do is to hook up the power supply. So I've got my modular power supply here. I'm gonna hook this up uh, fan side down to blow out of this vent here. And I'm gonna hook up power to the motherboard, the video card, the hard drive, the solid state drive, and the DVD burner. So I'm basically just gonna stick this in here, screw it in, uh, run cables from each of these to the respective uh, devices and I will take care of that and show you what it looks like when it's all uh, wired up. Okay, I've got the power supply in. I've hooked up all the power cables. You can see here it's kind of a little bit of a mess. Uh, but let's see if I can read these out to you. I've got the VGA uh, power cables here go into the video card here and here. Uh, I've got the CPU plugged in here, um, and then that's plugged in back here. And then I've got the motherboard plugged in here, and that plugs into the main uh, spot on the motherboard right here. It's nice and tight. And then down below I've got... Uh, let me see, I can't remember what that is. Oh, that's the other VGA, so it actually requires two cables going to the video card. And there you have it. Uh, once you finish up hooking up your power, you can tighten down the screws to your case, uh, put it into your desk, hook up all your cords, your ethernet, your sound, your mouse keyboard, your power, your monitor, all that good stuff. So here's the final look of my finished PC there on the left uh, with my setup. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to help you out on your own custom PC build.